The Turing Team is a program that the ITF, together with the Grand Slam Developing Fund, is putting together players from under developing countries in tennis. And we do a group, and this group is traveling over the tournaments. The groups, they mainly they have uh, from four to ten players, between girls and boys. This program has been already on the road for 30 years, and 310 players from 123 nations have been part of this uh, team. The concept, which is still, still just as valid today as it was 31 years ago, the concept is let's find a way to give these players who need help uh, an opportunity to improve their competitive chances. That opportunity might be through helping to fund uh, junior elite players are going on tour. There might be player grants to individual players. We've also supported some junior tournaments to help them get established. And over the years, again, the, the emphasis of the fund is to help players who need help. So th this is not about uh, particularly helping young British players. It's more about looking at the emerging economies in the world and trying to help players from those parts. The first name that I have to mention is Gustavo Cuertin. He was in these teams in 1993. He won the French three times. He was in 2000, in the year 2000, he was the number one player in the world. Professional. In 2012, Ostapenko was on the team. She was still 14. A special player on that time already. She had a good personality, strong personality. And yeah, I think she learned a lot. I think Grand Slam uh, Development Fund is important for players coming from, uh, from small countries because uh, probably the government doesn't have that much money to support uh, sports and uh, especially tennis because tennis is a very expensive sport and uh, I think that their help helped me to achieve what I achieved now. This is a great experience for me because uh, I have a good players. Can, I can practice with the top players with ranking and then have a good coach if for everything is good. I really like experience because I can practice with not Japanese, like European girls and coaches, new idea for me. Having uh, these tournaments with the ITF, it's, it's uh, an amazing experience and you, you have fun with the teammates, uh, you get to know people from other countries, like from Asia, Africa, Europe, I, I like it a lot. <laughs> many, many of the players who were involved in the ITF team Without the help of the Grand Slam Development Fund, there won't be uh, for them possible to be playing, competing in these tournaments. So I think it, it's been a great help for a lot of countries with uh, less development and tennis and, and with less money to be able to send these players to, to compete in all these tournaments. It's a unique experience. You normally tennis is an individual sport, so when you're traveling with and with the team, when practicing, and it's different. You don't feel lonely, so it's, it's so good. And I had a lot of fun with all the all the guys. This exchange of cultures is very good for them, not only for tennis but for life. Practicing together, it, it's like a small competition between them, and that makes them. Uh, getting better and it's going to be better also when they play the, the tournaments. To be part of the team it means that uh, here is not so many people so we are like I think maybe special ones. <laughs> I think and it's nice to be with uh, some other people from some other countries and to be with some other coaches and it's great experience. In the third team we are like family. Everything together and practice in hotel or that's fun. I was selected uh, for free Grand Slam uh, development teams as a junior and my memories are really nice because uh, it was nice to travel uh, to the tournament with other players and uh, to have an uh, experienced coach with us and also I was alone and maybe I learned how to be alone away from home and uh, got that experience from, from there. We think it's a very important initiative, we believe in it, we've been doing it for 30 years with a, a, an unwavering uh, degree of support from all four Grand Slams and uh, we look forward to doing it for many years to come. Mm -hmm.